Right, I've arrived at All Saints. I've done a few pictures. It's a massive big church and it's a big graveyard as well. But um, I can't remember the Coley names now in the family tree. So I forgot to look it up last night. So I just have to go round and hope something rings a bell. Um, at the moment there's... I, I mean they could have had a service and... Uh, Um, I'm gone home, you know, already. It's probably security lights. That's probably the, like the vestry where they keep their clothing and that. That's a beautiful stained glass window though, isn't it? In the bell tower bit. It's weird that light, isn't it? Unless it comes from a fridge or something. I know, it might come from up that window there even. That's what's in here. No, it's all locked. Right, here we go. Look, this is quite Roman catholic -y, isn't it? With Jesus and Joseph and Mary and everybody, or equivalents. As if they've got a history book on it in a minute. There's a, a grave outside with a proper poster pointing towards it of a, a Hannah Moore. She was born in the parish of Stapleton near Bristol in 17, that's either 15 or 45, I haven't got my glasses on, and died at Clifton, September 1833. Endowed with great intellectual powers and early distinguished by the success of her literary labour. She entered the world under some circumstances tending to find her affections on its vanities. But instructed in the school of Christ to form a just estimate of the heel end of human existence, she chose the better part and consecrated her time and talents to the glory of God and the good of her fellow creatures. Her mortal remains are deposited in a vault in this churchyard, which also contains those of her four sisters who resided with her at Barley Wood in this parish, her favourite abode and who actively cooperated in her unwearied acts of Christian benevolence. And got um, her other sisters, Mary, Elizabeth, Sarah and Martha Moore. This is a public memorial to Hannah Moore. Mm. So that sounds, I'll have a look at that church later. Like I said, I'm... This is a good church, so whether I'll have enough to go around it many more, I don't know. But the idea was to get to this one anyway. In commemoration of those from Rington who fell in two world wars. And there's just some names there. There's a, a Bragg, Buncombe, Lambert, King. A nice wooden solid ceiling. Going up towards the altar now. Like I said, that's very um, ornate. This one might have actually escaped the Puritans. It might have been replenished following. Yes, even this little bit here, look. This trio photography is um, like a little praying area, isn't it? The rude screen there, look. Richard Whiting, that coat of arms there. Richard Whiting with three fishes on it. Pulpit. Lovely stained glass windows. I mean, it's just filled with stained glass windows. The 
And that's to the glory of God in memory of William Long, Esquire, a JP for the County of Somerset, second son of Walter Long, Esquire of Southampton, who died in 1886, age 68. Of course, a big church, you know. It is a big church. You can see it from miles away. Stuck in this very, very medieval-looking village with lots of old features still, very evident and prominent. And who have we got here? I just took a picture of the another little chapel in here, look. All Saints Rington. Look at these lovely stained glass windows. This church could take a whole video worth on its own, you know, to be quite honest. It's just magnificent, the stained glass windows. Absolutely beautiful. As I said, I could use one video alone. The Pernell Vault. Of course, under these carpets sometimes you get um, plaques and things, you know. Right, I'm just going to write a candle for the family and the world family and all those in poverty, in need of help, all those who are really ill, to Sandy Merfield, Shepherd, who's very ill, and her family. She's very, very ill. So that's to her and Harry and Daisy and Amber, her grandchildren and Harry's brothers and father. I often light candles when I'm here. Who's this? Algy of unknown priest, a rector of Rink, found place upright in the garden wall of the bus. Is that the bus house of Rington? See, so look at that. Look at that window. Look at it. It's just so big and beautiful. A couple without. I'm doing the tape recording now, guess, since anyone comes, because I can't um, record so clearly when I've got someone listening uh, for some reason. Right, I'm up in the pulpit now. Because you feel you've got to talk to people. Well, I do talk to them, but. Um, It's a mass. I thought there'd still be people in here. I wonder if they had a service this morning. It's very ornate, the altar as well, isn't it? George Middleton, Ashdown, MA, Rector, 1890 to 1924. Anything with Middleton now is going to be popular, isn't it? Because of Kate. Kate, who was born the day after my Georgia in the same hospital, and we could have actually been in the same ward. And in fact, I think we probably were, to be quite honest. It was some. I, I, I just got feeling we, we met before. Her, is her husband looked familiar. Her husband looked very familiar to me. But then we lived at Pangbourne and they lived up the road from us at the time. A little bit of gold leaf on the ceiling here at this end. Nice bit of um, 
embroidery or tapestry, whatever you call that. There is one, another beautiful window. Well, isn't it? It's very pretty. <sighs> Joel Bridge Esquire died twenty first of May, eighteen twenty. Francis Parfley of this parish, yeoman, who departed this life May 1729, aged 62, and also his wife. And his daughter's there as well. Pars Parsley, son of Richard Parsley, who died, departed this life 28th day of March. 1706 age looks like 57 so parsley this church has got significance for the coleys they've got ancestors who were here but i can't remember their names offhand so this, unfortunately i've not brought that bit of wood here this tower was restored in 1948 in loving memory of Charles Overton Melville Wills of Barley Wood, Lieutenant Grenadier Guards, who killed, was killed in action in Tunisia on the 4th of February 1943, aged 20. They're still dying now in the wars in Afghanistan. There's some really old Bibles there, look. Oh, look at the old chains that were with them as well. Oh. It'd be nice to read them, but this is the children's area here. Take a few leaflets. I will put some pennies in the in the hole there in a sec. Right then, folks. I'm just going to turn off now. But it's a beautiful church. I've got to do outside. You see, over and out. <laughs>